If you're new to uh, my videos, I've been doing this for a few years, and it may sound crazy what I do. But I don't know anybody else that does it this way. Breeds bees all summer long and puts small colonies in the window. See, I did. I just moved this colony. I moved two frames at a time, very gently. I don't check for a queen right now. We have robbers. Yellow jackets and other commercial bees, and right now is not the time for me to be checking for a queen. I'll wait until it's colder, and I'll check it inside here, maybe November, December. But I did notice there's a lot of brood in here. And the goal is not to disturb them as much as possible. They get them from one deep to another. And then I have the last frame right here. So you always make sure they have room to grow because come February, this queen, if she's still alive, she's going to she's gonna start laying. And right now I'm trying to see how much syrup they can get in there. But I can feed them syrup again in the spring. See, I gave them some new foundation when I put them... Well, I think this is probably, this this is a nuke here, and they haven't gotten large enough to fill out the foundation. But if I do find a colony that's got too many frames that are filled out, I will give them a new one just so I can get some more frames filled out. And I will get that down in there and work it over. But see, I didn't disturb the colony. Um, they're not excited. I'm not using smoke. Even though it's, the robbers are irritating them. And if I were to start pulling frames apart, like I said, I took two at a time. I didn't pull them completely apart. If I had done that, there would be bees all over in here. Because of the robbers, the yellow jackets and whatnot, they get agitated very easily. And I don't want to use smoke. That even agitates them more. Okay? Just want to let you know.